All right, guys, good evening. Welcome to my live stream. If you're watching over on TikTok, I'm also on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, stay right where you're at. You get a better view. Anyway, tonight we are going to be drawing a co-op implements Dutz tractor. And uh, it's, a, it's an interesting piece. This is the one we're drawing right here. Um, it looks like a, a Dutz from the, from the front, right? Except for it's orange. And then it's got the cab of a, of a co-op. A little bit different. Uh, definitely different than anything I've ever seen. I've never seen one of these in person. I saw the, I saw this picture. Had it sent to me the other day from uh, one of my fans on Instagram. And I, uh, I don't know. It looked different. It looked like an oddball. So I figured I'd go ahead and draw it. So we're going to get started. I've already, already drawn the outline here. Make sure that's coming through. All right, we can see it good. All right, so I've drawn the outline already. Um, I used a charcoal transfer method to get as far as we have here. Uh, sometimes I'll use a grid to grid things out. Um, though I, I do find that the charcoal method is much quicker. And when I'm doing uh, mass quantities in a short time, that's the one I end up using uh, the most. Uh, if you hear snoring, that's my dog. He's sleeping under my desk. He always does. So that's what that's about. So if you happen to hear that. Now you know. Have you ever drawn a 656 International? I don't think I've drawn a 656. I've drawn a bunch of internationals, but I do not think I've drawn a 656. All right, we're going to get started. I'm going to start at the top here. Got uh, just a, I think it's a, what's that, a 4B charcoal pencil, general brand. It can be anything, really. Um, I like the, the general charcoal pencils. I think they do a great job. Uh, they blend really well with the white pencil. The white pencil is what I'm really in love with that I use. Um, it does such an amazing, amazing job. Um, I'll show you that one here in a, in a bit. But it blends really well with what I have here. And uh, it just does a great job. So makes my job a little bit easier when the pencil works with me. So, so there's our air cleaner. This is that uh, 4414 pencil. It's a white uh, pastel chalk pencil does an amazing job blending with the charcoal. You can uh, you can go over top of charcoal very easily and, and color cover cover it up for mistakes or if you intended to do it. Either way, um, it's nice to be able to cover up charcoal you know, very easily, very cleanly, and this is the best pencil I've found for that. I'm actually going to do a review on this pen this specific pencil because it is so good. Um, I, like I said before the the general charcoal pencils that I use, I only use them because they blend so well with this white pencil of theirs. So that's all I've got about that. Follow for more information if you're interested at all. If not, that's fine too. All right, I'm just going to put a little white stripe in here. All right, before I go too far, I'm going to grab a blending stump. These are store bought blending stumps. Um, I'm going a little bit lighter on this, so I'm gonna I'm gonna sand off some of this charcoal that's built into it, just so I get a fresh start. When it comes off, either white or light gray, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, there we go, light gray right there. Okay, and I'm just going to smudge this in. This is what gives it the smooth textures that you see that blends real nice. It's just a blending stump. You can buy like a five pack of them for three or four bucks. You can make your own. It's just rolled up paper. Uh, some people make their own. I choose to buy mine. Uh, it's just easier. That's the main reason. This uh, eraser that I'm using here, it's a Mono Zero. Very good uh, pencil to keep in your repertoire if you're doing any sort of charcoal drawing or pencil drawing. It's just a really good eraser for detail cleanup work does a good job it, it's not great for like mass cleanup if you made you know a lot of mistakes but it's very good for small amounts of cleanup of the edges that's what I typically use it for All right, I'm gonna come back to our blender sometimes with these like brighter spots I've just got to go over them a few times because the blender will make them a little bit darker it's kind of a known fact you plan for that you plan ahead 
Oh, Roper and Sam Jones. How you guys doing? Hey, thanks for moving over to YouTube there, Sam Jones. You get a better view, that's for sure. Better sound. Uh, hopefully it's better sound. Um, better view for sure. That's for sure. And, uh, I, uh, I can interact better on YouTube than I can TikTok. So. Is that a D106? It is. It is, actually. Few people know what this thing is. Co-op implements, I guess, purchased uh, or had the tractor made for them. And it's, it's just a Dutch tractor with a different cab, essentially. That's what my understanding is. Uh, hopefully somebody can come on here and explain a little better. Because I just did some quick research to look it up to see what it was. I was intrigued by it. expect this drawing will take about an hour and 20 minutes or so today. If I had to guess right now. Got about a half hour in it before I got on the stream. Um, for this one and for a lot of the ones I've done, I use a uh, charcoal transfer method. Some people call it cheating. I say that you get to choose what is uh, what your art is and what it's not. And uh, I like to use that method because I can do a lot more in a lot shorter time. Uh, the charcoal transfer method, essentially, you take a, uh, a charcoal pencil, like such, and then you'll uh, you color on the back of a reference drawing with the charcoal pencil. And then you trace it on the front with another pencil. And that creates this outline that you see here. Some people call it cheating. I call it uh, using a tool to get the job done. Uh, it'd be, you know, it, it is what it is. If somebody wants to call me out and say I'm cheating by drawing, that's great. They can draw their own stuff and not do that. I would be very happy to see it. The fact of the matter is, it's my art. I get to decide what it is. And this is what my art's going to be. <laughs> Get some of the purists like you can't use that I mean they do the same thing with like murals and stuff you can't use a projector to project onto the wall for your mural that's cheating not necessarily it's just using a tool Leonardo da Vinci had projectors and you know modern equipment he would use it <laughs> pretty sure of that Have you done a Satch Beaver S373? I have not. I don't know what that is, actually. Is that a tractor? I assume if, if it is a tractor, it's something that's not really in the States or it's something new. Um, I, my farming experience is very much uh, 1999 and before. I grew up on a farm. Moved away from the farm when uh, I got to be a little older. Yeah, I'm not really sure what that is. Satho. I don't know what that is. I do not. I can nearly guarantee I have not drawn one though. Because I don't even I've never even heard of one. So Alright, so I missed a spot in my charcoal transfer here. And that's okay. Because as long as you know how to draw, you can fill that in and not have a problem. So I missed a whole section here that's uh I'm just penciling in now. Okay. And hey, thanks for the likes. Appreciate it, guys. Very much so. put this one on TikTok the other day and uh, asked what it is and see if anybody knew what it was and there was a lot of answers there was a lot of wrong answers um, people were definitely guessing uh, Dutch I honestly don't know how you pronounce Dutch properly 
Um, <laughs> it comes from a funny story. When I was a, a kid, my dad pronounced it Dutch. So I always thought they were Dutch tractors with like CH at the end. So now they are not. So we've got a shadow here. We're just going to fill the shadow in even more here. And this shadow is going to go pretty far down here. I'm going to save this for a second. I want to get some white in here before I lose it. That uh, portion of the tri rib is going to have some white right there. Same here. And I've got, I can't go too far with that because I've got this tracing paper over top. So we'll do part of that so we remember it. I want to go this far right now with my shadow. We'll go further later. So a lot of this here might look like black void space, but it actually ends up filling in pretty nicely with your eye. And in, uh, your eye might actually you know, pick up things, or your mind will pick up things your eye can't see and fill it in for me. So it's a pretty cool optical illusion that you can do with drawings like this. All right, so I'm seeing this front is a little more shaded. There's a Pretty bright line there, pretty bright line there. Around here. Put it in there. This is going to be a little bit lighter, so we'll come back to that in a minute. I want to fill all this in with my blender quick. It's made by Mitsubishi. Sorry on spelling, it's a garden tractor. Okay, yeah, I haven't done many garden tractors. I think I can name off all the garden tractors I've done. I did a um, I did two different John Deere 110s. They were family tractors. Um, I actually own them myself right now. Well, one of them was my great grandfather's tractor. Uh, he bought it brand new in 1972. Um, fun story on that tractor I'll get into at some point. Uh, the other one was my wife's grandfather's tractor. He bought that brand new in 1967. So I drew those two. Did a Cub Cadet 100 pulling tractor. That was a fun one to draw. I drew that years ago, though. Um, that was probably 2012 I drew that one. And that's about it. I'm, I'm probably going to do a wheel horse here soon. I, I was a wheel horse guy. I used to tractor pull with garden tractors. And I uh, love wheel horse tractors. I had, I had some of my best teenage years, some of my best memories were spent on a wheel horse C160 that I tractor pulled. Pulled that for years. Ended up uh, giving into peer pressure and sold it and got a uh, 582 Cup Cadet that I tractor pulled the last two or three years that I tractor pulled. But nothing can beat that old wheel horse. It was just a fun tractor. It was different. Everybody can pull a Cup Cadet. We, we made it. We made it fun trying to fit a wheel horse into the Cup Cadet's world fun stuff. I think that's all the garden tractors I've done. Unless you want to count a John Deere L as a garden tractor. I think back in its day it was counted as a garden tractor. <laughs> Before garden tractors were really a thing though. Okay. It's looking pretty good right there. Okay. I think that'll turn out pretty good. <clears throat> Appreciate you guys who are over here on uh, YouTube. And uh, it, it really helps get my name out on YouTube. I'm trying to grow that account pretty badly over there. And it's it's been growing. It's slow. It's a hard platform to get going on. Appreciate everybody who's there. And uh, I've been trying to shout out everybody I see over there. So appreciate you guys who have made the journey over. Got some old faithfuls. We got Roper here. He's been in almost every one of my live streams, I'd say. Seeing a few other names pop around. These louvers here are going to be pretty tough to draw. They're so so thin. They've got a white label decal down here below it. I want to capture that, at least part of it. All right, and now I'm coming back through here, and I'm going to try to trim up the edges of these uh, louvers as best I can. I think the contrast will 
make it work for me. So hopefully it will at least. Filling it in with white. We're going to go over it with some gray here in a bit. Uh, I'm going to have to move this a little bit. I'm going to do the whole hood in front of the exhaust pipe in one pass here. I've got a shadow right here where the where the uh, exhaust pipe is shadowing. I think will help me break the two apart so that I don't have to match the colors exactly. As long as they get close, it'll be fine. Got this here I'm putting pretty heavy white into because it's going to be lighter. Got a tractor and a baler here that I'm doing. I think it's a case IH baler. I didn't really pay much attention to the baler, I'll be honest with you. It's just there. I've drawn a lot of tractors and balers, and most of the time when I do, it's just because the picture looks really good with them, and I didn't want to take it out for the sake of the drawing. My other grandpa has a Farmall Super C. Those are good tractors. I've, I've got some experience with the Super Cs. I like those things a lot. They're powerful for their size, I'll say that. Good little tractors. My family was all Farmall what we grew up on had a few Alice Chalmers and and uh, Oliver's but the farm mall was the main tractor we would go to all right you notice I'm just trying to put some white and gray on top of each other here to get the right look and then we're going to go over top of this with a gray uh, coated uh, blending stump and try to darken it a little more than it is in most parts. I like to mix up my patterns a little bit when I'm blending. Sometimes circles, sometimes straight lines. It gives you gives you a little bit more texture to follow around with your eye. Real goal on this one is a light gray, which I'm getting, with the white down at the bottom here where the light's hitting it. And I try to do these loopers quick. With the loopers, you gotta be careful you don't go too far. If you go too far, you'll end up with just a mess. So they're not quite dark enough for me. So I'm gonna go back with I'm kind of putting my pencil straight down. Across to get the thinnest line possible. And I'll do this probably a couple times until it's dark enough. Underneath of this, this last louver is a little thick, so I'm just gonna just gonna gray it out a little. <clears throat> I don't draw. I do draw old trucks occasionally. Yes, it's true. I appreciate my fans answering questions when I don't get to it in, in time. I got that. Uh, WF Alice Chalmers coming soon. I've got it next. I've got uh, down here somewhere. It's my WF that uh, is coming. That's going to be a fun one to draw. I'd never seen a WF before. I'm not sure if, how many of you know what a WF is. I think I'm saying that right. It's WF. Amazing looking tractor. Grew up around Alice Chalmers, WCs and whatnot, and CAs. Just never saw a WF before this week. And I'm like, yeah, I got to draw that. That's a good looking tractor. So, thought about drawing it tonight because it was already on the drawing board, but if I drew that, I'd probably never get to this, this co op dutz. I wanted to draw that tonight, so 
Not sure when I'll get to finish it. I got two drawings started right now. Normally, my rule is to only finish one at a time, but I started two, so I gotta finish two now. All right, this is turning out pretty darn good, I'll say. I'm, I'm impressed, I'm liking it. Oh man, thanks for the likes. Appreciate you guys tapping that screen, getting the likes going. All right, what's next? So next, I'm going to do this little shadow before we move on. It's uh, just where the where the exhaust pipe. I'd say muffler. Not sure if it's a muffler. I can't tell if this is a muffler or not. It's got a really tall exhaust pipe on it, so we'll call it exhaust pipe. I just I can't tell what's going on down here. This might be muffler down in here. Not sure. Tough to see. Doesn't really matter either way. Right, let's do the exhaust pipe. A long black line on the left side. I'm trying to do that as straight as possible. And then a thin black line on the right side. It'd be tough to get any different tone. Alright. And then we'll do a white stripe in the middle. And let the blender do the rest. Yeah, Instagram is the best way to get in touch with me. Um, if you want to direct message me on other platforms, that's fine. But unfortunately, Instagram is the best way to keep track of what I've drawn and where I've drawn it. So that's what I use the most. Uh, if you can find me on Facebook, you can try to message me on there if you have a Facebook. Unfortunately, TikTok is not really good at sending pictures, so neither is YouTube. So it's my two biggest platforms. Alright, got the flapper going. She's running, you can tell. Flapper's up. This is relaxing for me. You know, some people, you know, they, they like to play golf or like to you know, wrench on tractors or cars or whatever. For me, I, I like to sit here and draw these pictures. <laughs> it's just relaxing. You know, for me, nothing really beats coming home from a hard day's work and being frustrated with my job or whatever happened that day and then just sitting here and forgetting that the entire world exists because there's a tractor in front of me that needs to be drawn. <laughs> I wasn't real happy with the way that turned out, so let's just come back with a little detail on that. Much better. Much better. Okay. Let's do the engine in front of the, yeah, this part of the engine in front of here. So there's a pretty white spot right here. And then I'm going to, I'm going to circle that right now, black line so I don't lose it. It's good enough. And then here there's a little bit of a shade of something. It's a bottom shape. A little bit here. A little bit right in here. Some reflections. I'm just putting down some white details. We're going to cover this up with black here in just a second. And uh, I'm just going to do real light right here. Like that. A few little white lines down here. A little bit of Whatever that is, like a wiring harness, I think, of some sort. Right in there. And then, let's see, what do we got here? This 
it's just a double line I think it's a mistake let's go ahead and move this back a little like I said the only reason this is here is just so I can run my hand up and down without having to pay too much attention to you know where it is let's do the bottom of this right here I don't know if that's a gas tank or exhaust muffler I don't know what that is don't have to though my drilling style you just kind of fill in what you see and let the drilling do itself so trying to just find all the lighter spots that I can fill in here while we're going looks like some sort of bracket here and then back there like that quite a bit there in because this is a bright silver and then of course this up here is going to be that same thing we did down here where it's just a light gray color and then it starts getting darker beyond that looking nice thank you very much appreciate it what's your Facebook name it's tractor art I'm either tractor art or Clem's tractor art everywhere you can find me on any of those feel free to shoot me a message just keep in mind I get a ton of requests I don't get to draw everything I want to draw everything everybody wants to draw wants me to draw so just keep your expectations a little bit low I try to do a lot but there's just so many requests I can't fill them all so keep that in mind I get some really cool stuff that I don't get a chance to draw I, I get so many big articulated four-wheel drive tractors and I'd love to draw more of them but they take so so long to draw with that many tires <laughs> all right, let's try to match this as best we can to the front and this is a little bit lighter, so I'll come back over this in a minute to make it lighter. Okay, I'm going to get my sanding paper out of here quick. I'm going to clear off my blending stump. Good fresh start here on this. I said I want this to stay kind of white, gray it out down at the bottom, but I want to stay a little bit whiter. All right, now I'll come back and get some more of this detail here because I just washed out. Like that, and we'll hit it with the darker side of the blending stump here, just to smash it in. I like the way the shadow here turned out. It's looking nice. There's a pretty bright line here at the bottom of the hood that I want to capture. Kind of missed before. I'll just give it the appearance of being turned out with the light hitting a little bit better. We got it up here. We just missed it back there. All right. Here comes one of my favorite parts. Uh, we're going to go through. I'm going to make this a little lighter up here. I'm going to go through and I'm going to darken this hood area, everything in the engine compartment. I'm going to darken it in pretty good. There's This kind of runs together down there. Everything up under here. And it goes back a little further, but we're going to draw the line right here for now. I'm going to darken everything here now. If you've never seen my lives before, this might be shocking you that I just drew all this in. And I'm covering it up, but just bear with me a second. This one spot right here is pretty bright, so we'll leave that out a little more. The rest of this, I'm I'm covering over, covering over until you can't see it anymore. All right, we can go all the way down into here. And I'll stop there also. But we'll keep going down to here eventually, just for now. 
keeping the brighter spots out, covering over the spots that aren't quite as bright. Don't want to hit the tire too much yet. Just trying to. Alright. Did that. Let's grab a bigger blending stump. Push some of that away. You can see some of these details that I drew in there are popping out. That was the goal. Just little teeny subtle hints is all you're getting. It's it's in there, right? You just want it to peek out and say, hey, there's an engine in here. The nice thing with the style of drawing that I have is I don't have to be super detailed. I don't have to put a lot of effort into the details in the engine because you're your mind fills it in for me. All right. Just went over that very lightly. Keep that out like that. Sharpen this up. My hat's probably getting in your way. Maybe not. There it is. Just like that, you got slight details of an engine right there. Now one thing I'm seeing that I didn't draw in yet, right in the center of whatever this is, it starts to get a little bit darker down here towards the bottom so I'm just going to very lightly just give that some shade just like that very subtle but it's there let's do this tire okay so for the rim we've got a lot of a lot of what appears to be gray here it's orange in the uh, orange in the real world so we're going to match it somewhat close to this color because it's a very similar tone. I'm going to put some little dots for our lug nuts. And then the center here is going to have some color to it. Go over that slightly. Do a couple layers. A little center cap of the hub. Pencil out. Go ahead and start down that way. Might be shaded in there. Another one up here. I'll check my chat here in a few minutes. See if anybody said anything. Kind of neglected you all here a little bit. Give me just a second. All right. Nice. All right. Nobody said anything, so I didn't neglect anything. Feel free to ask questions. I try to answer as many as I can. Uh, if you're interested in any sort of details of how I draw or what I'm using, you know, the, the, the equipment, pencils, drawing table, blenders, erasers, I answer any of those. So feel free to ask. Or if you're just curious about anything else, feel free to ask. tire here there's a dark shadow here between tri-ribs uh, get that kind of saturated pretty black with the black there it is it's done just gonna blend that out a little bit there to that now I'm seeing let's see what do I see I see pretty dark down here let's go ahead and blacken this all the way back around keep a nice crisp line on this this can almost end up being the same shade with just a little subtle white right there it comes up to there wraps around here a little bit and then down here where the tire bows in a little bit of course we've got some light reflecting to say hey I'm here so just a little and then the rest of this I'll just color over for the most part I see a few little lines that I want to connect in here like that nothing crazy Get a little soft edge here to that this is going to almost be bright white I'm going to keep that kind of white it'll end up being gray but as opposed to the rest of it, it's white, so kind of the 
same thing here, just a little thin strip of shading in there. Right. This is going to be good enough to get our start, and we'll let the blender do the rest. It already looks good. It really does, but we can make it look better. All right, lighter shade here. Go around this little very light pressure. Just kind of blend that around kind of long strokes you don't want the white to really stand out as white and you want it to be very subtle as a as a gray color gray tone of some sort there you go darken that in and then right around here if we've screwed it up we can just color it over a little bit back with a little different pressure and it becomes a different drawing so I like the way that front turned out there almost like brush strokes all right front tire turned out good we get a shout out to KCK from Idaho there you go I guess I did without even realizing it I don't know what that is, so it is what it is. I like Idaho, though. Nice place. Haven't spent a ton of time there. Most of the time I spent there was going to and from Wyoming. Uh, part of Wyoming we're at in the Star Valley there. You have to uh, drive through Idaho to get to, or you have to go a long way around the other way. Right, I just broke my point trying to sharpen it. It's one thing you'll find if you start using these pencils is the points break pretty easy. No matter if you're using a black or white, whatever color you're using, just they break pretty easily. As you just heard the point break. Some of this is deceiving how bright it actually is uh, on the drawing. These orange colors you know, really they give off a real light tone. Just putting in some lighter tones here. Come back and do the dark stuff here next. Find a better pencil. That's a good pencil here. Just going for something with a little bit of a point. Just tracing this out. Right here's the edge. So down the edge of that, all the way down. This comes all the way. Man, that goes all the way down, doesn't it? Yep, right to there. That's cool. I like it when you find long stripes like that to work with. All right. That's our... That's, oh, there's some light spots in there. Okay, we'll wrap this around to down to there. Outside of this is a dark line top of this pretty dark and up under here full shadow it's about halfway so we've got that white underneath of it to do some more white there and it will color completely over it it's just going to be a blending whites in there for blending purposes
draw those lines, those lights in here in a bit. Again. Hers face, gotta love an old Alice. <laughs> it is a co op implements nuts. But I do like old Alice's, <laughs> even though it's not related to this drawing. Alright, I'm gonna fill in the inside of this cab with a dark gray. I'm just using my blending stump for that. Sometimes you don't even need to use any charcoal. You just need to use a dirty blending stump. Alright, steering wheel. It's gonna shine through just a little. So we'll draw her in. Dash here too. So everything we're doing here is gonna be inside the cab. So it's behind glass. The easiest way I've found to draw a glass is take some streaks across like this. Right? And then find the blending stump. Push them down a little bit in there. Come over that windshield wiper here again. Alright, so the windshield wiper's got a little like that, right beside it, a white line. And then I'll take my smallest blended stump I have and I'll just smash it in. There it is. Let's grab a little bit of a highlight here. Across there and there. I'll do these lights again. Let's do the lights again. Light there. Light here. Smash those a little bit. I don't want them to really stick out. I want them to be very subtle. That's too bright. Let's gray it out some. Looks good. Alright. Through under here, there's going to be this window down here is pretty dark. See some reflections in here. Okay, you just want a little bit of highlights to stick out there. That's what we got. Down here a little darker. such that looks pretty good All right. I'm gonna get reset here in a second Let's move back to do the rest of the top of the cab I guess right here Okay, one thing I'm seeing is there is a line right here. Kind of goes down like this. I don't know what that is. Don't have to. You just draw it in. This light back here. Got a little tune under the light, and then this. That's 
see right here, black line, the brighter line above it, like so, and then a thin line above that, and then the rest will be a light gray. Got my windows open today because it's a beautiful day. So if you hear kids in the background or you hear trash cans moving around and slamming, that's uh, my son taking the trash out. <laughs> I assume that means he's cleaning his room. That's a good thing. <laughs> One little thin line here near that. I don't think there's glass in the sides of these. So we're going to treat it a little bit different as if there's no glass. It looks like this is kind of wide open here. I think there's glass in the back though. If I'm reading this correctly. Could be wrong. All right, let's do some of these little white highlights in here. And the rest of this is going to be another one of those sections that's just a dark blob of black. More trash cans moving in slightly. starting to look pretty good. cleaner side here now. Do this white gray. Turned out pretty good. Turned out real good. 
happy with that. All right. All right. Before we go too far, I'm going to put some color into the tires here. Any of this area in the tires, at least. Here, I'm seeing our brightest spots. Bar, top of the bar. So that like that. That. Do some highlights here. A little bit of gray. And then underneath the bars. Dark. Just follow these bars around a little bit. Down here it starts to get a little bit muddier. You don't see as much of the bars anymore. rest of this same as before we're just going to saturate it pretty heavy make it look like kind of a big blob tire from the other side is kind of peeking through. That's what we've got here at the bottom of our shadow from that tire at least. What do I see? I see all this over here, kind of like that. Such. All right. I'll start with the bars here. Try to lay down where they're at. Just roughly, if nothing else. I think I can go from here, probably without smearing that baler too much, so let's 
that's what we'll do. I'm just getting a light, nice light base gray down here. And I'm gonna come back and put some darker spots in, I think, here as we go. I just want, I don't wanna overpower the rest of the tire, but there are a few, few spots here, like right here. Kind of a stripe around here. Just pushing in a little bit, and we can come back to it. Hey, what's up, Asher Hockey? How you doing? Thanks for stopping by. Can you draw my Jacobson 1200 Super Chief Garden Tractor, please? First garden tractor. Um, so the best way to get me to draw your stuff is shoot me a uh, picture of it on Instagram, Facebook, um, preferably Instagram. I don't take requests on here because I'd have to stop and write down everybody's stuff. So. For the sake of my live session, I don't take requests on live, but um, yeah, if you want to shoot me a message afterwards, by all means, I'll take a look at it. I get a lot of requests, tons of requests, not as many as I did before. Back in August, I think I had a thousand requests, a thousand requests in one month of draw this, draw that, and I just can't draw everything, so keep that in mind. But I do take a look at everything somebody sends me to draw on Instagram and try to on Facebook. Sometimes TikTok will get lost in the shuffle, but I try to look at those too. Jacobson, that's kind of an oddball tractor too. They're not extremely popular. I like drawing the different stuff, like this one here. I remember we, uh, a club that I was uh, a member of years ago, they put on a show every year. and One year they featured uh, the oddball tractors, the ones that you know not everybody has, not the John Deere's and the Bar Malls, and the stuff that you know everybody and their uncle seems to own 20 of. They, uh, they did the oddballs. Well, <laughs> some of these other brands, the like, guys who were big supporters of that didn't want their tractors to be called oddballs they they took that as offensive so they had to change the name of that to lesser known classics <laughs> can't say oddball i guess so they said lesser known classics and everybody seemed to be fine with that so we'll call this uh dutz co-op a lesser known classic how about that Co-op Dutz. I said that backwards, didn't I? Oh, well, I don't think it really matters. Nobody knows. Except for like three people who know what this tractor even is. Probably its owner and some guy who worked at the factory at one point. <laughs> Only ones would even know I said it backwards. So. Tractor's done. But now i got to move into this baler. I love Jacobson. I had to get rid of it because I had to move. Yeah, I I loved my wheel horse, but I had to get rid of it. Not because I moved, but because life moved on. I had, uh, had a Simplicity 2110 lawn tractor. My uh, first one I restored myself. I had so much fun restoring that thing. Painting her all up. Cleaned it up. That was, that was great. So that same club was featuring Alice Chalmers that year. And, you know, Simplicity was an Alice Chalmers brand. Well, my Simplicity actually had the Alice Chalmers logo on the side of it. I said Simplicity by Alice Chalmers, which not all of them had. All right. So one thing I noticed while I was drawing this out, right now, let's see if I can follow it here. There's a black area here that kind of goes on forever. It's like continuously black. 
I'm going to try to put some white in the middle of this so I don't lose these little details. But this black section goes on here. And then, where does it go? It goes down here into this. So this is all one part of that. Dogs rolling around back here making a bunch of noise. Alright, and once it gets down here, right, it's got this little line that comes out here, and then this whole section here. So I don't want to get this white in here. All of this kind of goes there. And then that's one way. Follow the contour of the tire. I'm not putting a ton of details into the baler. It just happens to be here. It's not a focal point of this drawing by any stretch. I'm going to go ahead and saturate that and put these few little details down here. And then I'm going to saturate this whole area. And this covers my shadow too. So, all the way back to there. Right. This is dark. All the way into that. So, we just roll right into the tire. I'm going to go ahead and do some streaks around here for the tread. Once again, no detail on that because the baler is not the focal point. Here, this whole section here is dark. I got some stripe going back here with some writing in here. A few spots. So had the Jacobson 1450 Super Chief. Never got to get to running it before we moved though. It'd be neat if you could draw an old 7, 7, 7720 Titan 2 dumping in an old rent cart and a 5020 John Deere. Not getting too specific on me, are we? <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot of detail there. I think I'm going to start some farm scenes here soon. I've done a few in the past. They've turned out really good. I've never done one live. I've never done a time lapse for them, but I feel like it would be a really good one to do eventually. So I'm going to start doing that soon. Not yet, but soon. All right, what we got going on down here? This is this is what I'm this is what I started doing, and then I forgot. And then I've got some stuff in here I need to find quick. Let's see what we can do with this now. Well, for this, I'm gonna get a bigger blend and stuff. I'm gonna start on the top side with a little bit lighter one. I'm gonna keep it kind of blurred out. Just for 
sake of not taking away from the tractor in the front. I'm going to be able to tell it's a baler, but not tell it's a Case IH baler. That's, that's what I'm going for. I just want it to be kind of a generic baler sitting back there, like you know, if, if you ever bought, you know, cheap farm toys when you were a kid, you get the, like, country time or country whatever baler. Didn't actually have a New Holland or International or John Deere logo on it. It just kind of looked like maybe an off-colored Oliver or bright blue or something. And then just had, you know, the words country living or something on the side of it. That's what I'm going for here. I want it to be an off-brand toy baler. <laughs> Just like that. y'all think pretty close pretty close let's come in with my eraser here towards the end and we'll just erase some of these sharper lines here I want them in there Edges cleaned. Take this rubber eraser here. These rubber erasers are nice because they erase charcoal really well and they won't destroy your paper because they just fall apart and crumble instead of your paper falling apart. Makes it real nice. Big into drawing one-off one oddballs. Now, if you've got anything yourself, I'd be happy to take a look at it because that's what I'm doing. Looking good, thanks. Appreciate it, Sam Jones. Hey, how'd you get back over there? I thought she was on YouTube. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. All right, last thing, last piece. I'll grab a little bit sharper pencil. I'll go ahead and sign it. I'm going to sign it up under here. There it is. She's done. What do y'all think? I like it. All right, well, that is what I've got for today. That's my live stream. Go check out my other videos. Check out my YouTube channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would appreciate that. I'd like to uh, like to grow over there. Uh, if you don't follow me on TikTok, go ahead and follow me. I'm trying to get to 10,000. I'm real close. And if you do subscribe already on TikTok or follow me, tell somebody about me, would you? Help me get to this 10,000 mark. That's that's my next big goal for TikTok. 10,000. Less than a thousand away. Y'all got to know a thousand people, right? <laughs> Share my videos, something. So, 
That's all I got. All right, guys. I'm going to end my live stream here. Appreciate each and every one of you. And uh, here's what it was. Here's what it looks like. I think it's pretty good. <laughs>